Here's a RIAA stereo preamp all the way from China. Less than £20 UK sterling it costs, including postage. Comes with a um, little power supply as well. And I'm going to show you how to convert this into um, a high impedance buffer, which can then be used with um, old record players such as this, so that you can use old crystal ceramic cartridges, which require loads of one meg or higher, which can't be obtained by normal modern amplifiers and uh, or preamps. They're meant for valve amps. So um, these are so cheap, there's no point um, making one up from scratch. I'll, I'll show you how you can take this apart and just change a few components and, uh, and get a high impedance buffer. I've drawn out the circuit diagram of this little uh, equaliser stereo. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward circuit. Uh, just uses a dual op amp, one each one half for each uh, side uh, of the stereo. Uh, it's got all the frequency compensation around here to give you the RIAA equalization to um, cut the treble and boost the bass. And it just feeds out just through some pastors. On the input, it's got some uh, bit of treble cut. And um, these two 91Ks, which will be equivalent in parallel to give you about the usual 47k approximately input which most modern mm cartridges specify now um as i said before uh if you use a very old record player with a crystal pizza pso type pickup uh they want a high resistance or impedance load normally they say about a meg but uh, I'm going to show you that uh, using this, you can get a really good sound. Um, uh, just modifying this little circuit, I've pulled it out so you can see it. It's not many components and all nicely labeled. It's very easy to see what you're doing. So I've done two mods and we can compare the sound. I'll show you what I've done. Uh, I've done lots of mods on one side trying to make uh, changing all these components to get a one mega ohm input by changing that resistor changing these resistors from 91k to one meg and um, other things you can take out it, it, that capacitor is not necessary uh, now it's a virtual earth but by you connect the earth to the case earth as well on this one it doesn't matter because it's um, a plus and minus supply, so this is at zero anyway. And um, so you feed the crystal in here, it sees one meg, and uh, I put a potentiometer in there to adjust the gain as well, so you can set the gain. That's one way of doing it, quite, uh, quite a bit of work changing resistors and things. But on the other channel, I did a much simpler mod, I've changed nothing on the original circuit. I've just put a one meg pot on the input. You can either have it just to ground like that, or in fact you can just have it as a variable resistor. Now what happens here is this is a one meg, and it's comparing, it's coming in and you've got this 47k here, so it's a potential divider if you look at the circuit here. If you set it part way up, say 700k to 300k, that makes one meg, and then you've got the 47k there, so it's it's about 700 to 47. It's going to drop the gain about 20 or whatever that works out to. So in fact, you're just dropping the um, you've got the high input impedance over 700k, but it's dropping the the gain, so this doesn't overload this because piezo crystals give out a very high signal maybe two or three hundred millivolts and a moving magnet will only give about five millivolts or something so you need to drop the gain right down so it does two jobs in one it gives you the high resistance needed 
and also drops the um, signal down so it doesn't overload the whole circuit. Now I've discovered that um, although uh, the crystal pickups are normally self-correcting on the frequency response, it actually sounds best just fed straight through this equalization. Uh, the sound that comes out it sounds just great. Um, and then you can feed it to your auxiliary input on your amp, which is about 47k input. And you don't have to do anything else. These old record players have um, crystal pickups. This one's got a mono pickup, so it just comes out on one uh, channel. And it's uh, got very high output, 78 RPM. It talks about 0.8 volts, 800 millivolts, and at 33 revs, 200 millivolts. Considering the moving magnet on most uh, record players that you buy these days would have, or or an MC cartridge would have much less moving magnets, about 5 millivolts. So if you try and feed this directly into a phono input if on your amp, it would be hideously distorted. Um, but if you try to feed it into your auxiliary or CD input on your amp, um, it will also not sound good because it needs a high resistance load, 1 mega, it suggests. And... Uh, all amps probably about 47 kilo ohms which is very low so uh, I've got the uh, preamp that I've modified linked up here with the two different ways of doing it on this um, side I've changed uh, three resistors down there to one mega ohm ones pretty easy to do and I've got a little volume control uh, wired in as well in place of one of the resistors on the other channel change nothing at all except put in a potentiometer on the front end one meg ohm which can act as a pot or you can use it as just a variable resistor I'll just show it uh, briefly in operation to show that it's actually working uh, I've got a switch here which switches the mono from one channel to the other uh, we'll start with it on this one now um, because of the modification I've done on here, actually you can set the volume, doesn't need the volume control, you can show it can be set to the lower position is just fine. Anyway, we just I'll just show you that it does work anyway. Put a record on. Okay, this is the volume. So it's much too high if you turn it up. So I could dispense with that. The mods are done with the resistors are just fine to cut the volume. And the sound is good. The bass, treble, voices, all sounding good. Now on the other channel, just switch the switch. You've got the variable volume control. You can turn it right down to nothing. Or can turn it up. You turn it up to the amp, your amp or whatever it's plugged into gives the right volume. And I found about um, about 700 kilo ohms uh, seems to give the best sound, which isn't quite a meg, but uh, it seems to give the best sound through here. Sounds fine with a balanced bass, treble, voices and everything. So that's um, the two ways of doing it. And the, the resistor potentiometer on the front end is uh, just the sound is just the same as if all the mods, so you don't have to mod it at all. So all you have to do is um, fit a little resistor in, in line in the plug going in. Um, I found the 700K or 680K is fine. You can try a one meg. Uh, just cuts the volume just a tiny little bit too much, I think, but it's um, it works fine. It sounds excellent. So then you just buy one of these cheap, less than 20 quid. If you've got a stereo cartridge, it's fine. It's a stereo anyway. This is a mono one. They did do a stereo one. I've got one. And uh, you can play all your um, old records on your old record player through your modern hi-fi amp. So I'll play some of the... Um, music and hopefully uh, you'll be able to hear it and uh, 
YouTube won't take it away. So we'll start with the channel, uh, the heavily modified channel first. Plenty of bass, running bass, running down. Voices, nice harmony voices. Plenty of the guitar sounds nice and clear. Sound is very nicely balanced. Now we'll switch it to the just the resistor. Okay, sounds exactly the same. Hardly any difference at all. That it, you wouldn't even be able to tell which one it is. Nice voices. Guitars coming out clear. Bass is going nice. Let's switch it back to the other one. There's just virtually no difference at all. Switch it back again. So I'll just uh, take this off so that So all I've proved is that using these old uh, crystal pickups, um, you can, if you manage to get a deck like this and haven't got an amp, you can buy one of these cheap, uh, buy yourself a, a resistor. You can have one meg, or I've got 700k, which gives you this nice volume out. If you uh, put if you put this higher, you get a bit less, less and less, um, less and less voltage. So it seemed perfect. If you want to match your own, you could put a one meg pot in, either like that or like that. And uh, you can wire the resistor just inside the um, phono plug. Just unwire it and solder it in line. And that means that you can play all your old seventy uh, eights <laughs> if you get a record player and. Uh, don't have to buy a valve amp or anything else. So um, hopefully uh, if anyone wants to do it, uh, that's how easy it is.